Sometimes, because of our somewhat parochial Britishness, we tend to attribute this doctrine to Hume. And it is in Hume, and he probably did work it out for himself on the basis of pointers from Locke, as you say. But uh, the fact is that Leibniz said it half a century before Hume, and said it very clearly, and said it over and over again. Yes, the thing about Hume is it's done in a kind of drawing room, relaxed, rather imprecise manner. The, the nature of the distinction isn't very precisely uh, worked out, whereas in Leibniz's case, a great deal of energy is expanded on making it quite clear what the logical foundations of the distinction are. Yeah. Another thing that Leibniz offers us is a solution again to the Descartes problem of interaction, a solution to the problem of how mind and matter interact. And his solution is entirely different from Spinoza's solution. Can you tell us what it is? Yes, 